So the 10% pay cut and 12-hour shifts will remain in effect for Detroit police officers. Tough day for Detroit police. This was not the decision that they were hoping for. Judge Kathleen McDonald made the, the decision this morning after about 75 minutes of argument, saying it was a tough call on her part. She has lifted the temporary restraining order in the case, and that means the city can continue with 10% pay cuts and 12-hour shifts for Detroit police. The city arguing today that this is about the viability of the city, that painful cuts are necessary, and that police officers are the last of the union employees to see the cuts. The union for the police officers says that morale is already suffering, that there will be an exodus of police officers, and the already high crime rate will continue to go up. Lawyers for the union also argue that the pay cut and work rule changes were illegal because Public Act 4, the emergency manager law, has been suspended. But the judge said the cuts were imposed before the suspension, and so they are lawful. Police officers were furious. Well, I can tell you what it's already done to me. I have $12.80 in my account. So you do the math. What am I getting with $12.80? That's after my bills. I, got, I drive a 2000 Concord. Um, my husband works. This is just paying normal bills. It's not lavishing. I'm not out here rocking diamonds and wearing neighboring clothes. I wear the same jeans two and three times a week. So, I mean, at some point, enough is going to be enough for me. And at this point right now, the lawyers for the Detroit Police Officers Association say they'll go back to the drawing board, discuss this decision with their members, and they are considering an appeal and take this to the next level. We're live downtown, Michael Rosenfield, 7 Action News. Certainly a lot happening and a lot to consider. Thank you so much, Mike.